Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're going to need it. I'm going to ask you to do some work today. All right, so let's look at, uh, let's go x, f of x. We're going to make a table here. So let's go 1, negative 5. Okay. 2, negative 2. 3, positive 1. 4, and 4. So can you... Can you describe the pattern in words? Yes. What is the pattern? The pattern is from one to four, one, two, and three, four, uh, plus one. So X is going up by one. Mm -hmm. Now you can think of this next row, it's really Y. You can think of it as y. What is y going up or down by? Up and down by x. So so look at like like from minus five to minus two or minus two to positive uh -huh. one or one to four. What is the pattern? What do you see? Is it going up? Are the numbers getting bigger or are they getting smaller? It's going smaller you're getting smaller are you sure mm -hmm. so you're saying that four is smaller than one you know what no, no, no one is smaller than four okay how about minus two is it bigger Negative two yes. it, it is smaller than one okay so so get, what's the better word to describe f of x what's going on here um uh it, so for that right there, you just subtract uh, by uh, increase, increasing um, the numbers by, <sighs> so for, uh, it's by subtracting by three. So, so you can't use the word subtracting if, if, uh, you're, if you're increasing. If they're going up, think of up as increasing. Up means increasing. That means you're adding. <laughs> If you're going down, it's decreasing. Okay. And then you're subtracting. So what are you going up by each time? What, what is the increase from like one to four? Three. So you're going up by three. Yeah, we should go by up by three. Okay, good. All right, now let's use the slope formula and let's calculate the slope. Okay, so let me, let me grab this table, move it down. All right, and we wanna calculate the slope. What is the slope formula? Can you remind me of that? Yeah, the slope formula. <laughs> y2 yes, minus y1 and x2 minus x1. So yeah. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna choose these last two data values for our ordered pairs, okay? And this is our first ordered pair. And then this is our second ordered pair. Okay. The first ordered pair is three comma one, four comma four. Okay. Do you see how I did that? That the, the top one is X, the bottom number is Y. X1, Y1, X2, okay. Y2. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so and so that I, right so, there, so I, I want you to yeah, I want you to calculate the slope. Is, um, four minus one is three, and then four minus three is one. Okay, so what is the slope? The slope, uh, it is three. Good. Now we're going to write the equation of the line y equals m x plus b. What is the value of m? 
The value of m is three. So we write y equals three x plus b. Okay. And y equals three x plus b. Okay, so now we're gonna, we need an X and a Y value. So we go back to our ordered pairs. Which ordered pair do you wanna use? The three, one or the four, four? Three, one. <laughs> yes. Three, one. Hello? Perfect, yep. So we're gonna use three, one. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make Y one and X three. Okay. What is three times three? Nine. Okay, and then what do you do to solve for B? Uh, what do you do to solve with B? Well, you have to add nine plus six and that equals 15. And then, the, and then you sub, sub, divide by 15, by three. Well, now we're gonna subtract nine from both sides. Okay. So what, is, what does B equal? Negative eight. B is minus eight. Yeah. Okay, so now we take that value and put it back in uh, to uh, this, this equation here. So we've got um, y equals three x minus eight. Okay, you find, you get the value of B and then you put it back in the equation. Is that okay? Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, now, instead of using um, y, y is really f of x. Okay. Okay, and then the next thing we did on all these problems last night is we did f of three. We had to put three in for x. Okay. So we're gonna put three in for X, three times three minus eight. All right. What is three times three? Three times three is nine. <laughs> nine minus eight is? <clears throat> one. Is one, good, okay. All right, now before before we go on, I, I, I think there could be some few things that are unclear here. So let me, let me give you a, let's look at a, a kind of a separate problem here. So let's say g of x equals 2x minus 6, okay? Okay. Let's say, and I'm going to ask you to do this now, Serge. What is g of 0? g of 0. That means to put 0 in for x. Okay. Okay, so, okay, all right. So for two X, um, uh, two X, so, okay. Can you tell me what do you say again? You're putting zero in for X. Okay, so 20, is it two zero? Well, what's the math operation between the two and the X? Two and the X, two, um, it, it, zero equals like, X. Are, no, yes, zero is the value for X, but what's the math operation between the two and the X? What does that dot mean? Um, times. So you're multiplying. Yep. That's right. <laughs> okay, so what is, two, what is two times zero? Zero. Okay, minus six. Zero minus six, um, that's um, uh, negative six. Negative six, mm -hmm. um, good, excellent. Okay, so let's try, let's try another one here. Let's say <laughs> again, g of x equals two x minus six. What is g of five? Can you do that for me? G of five? Yes. G of five, that right there is um, G five. Um, that is going to be two minus six, right? You're putting five in for X. 
Okay. Two square five. You're putting you're putting five in for x. Two times five minus six. Okay, I, I have to, I should have I should remember that. Two times five is ten. Minus six is four. Okay. Yes, the final answer is is 10 minus six, which is four. So Sarah, I really, I've got to get you to be able to do this on your own without any help from me. So let's try another one here. Okay, what is, what is G of 12? G 12, all right, two times 12, 24, 24 minus six, 18. Okay, so two times 12 minus six, 24 minus six, that's 18, very good. Okay, let's try another one. New function this time. Let's say f of x equals minus three x plus 25. Can you find f of one, please? Okay, um, f of one, yeah, 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 negative three, um, parentheses one, um, that is going to be negative three plus 25, that is tw and, and, uh, 22. It is, it is, it is 22, very good, okay, so negative three plus 25, awesome. Okay, now just something slightly different, this is, this is going to, this is, this is where it's going to get a little bit awkward or different. Um, so let's say f of x equals uh, 3x minus 6, okay? Okay. This time, this time we're setting f of x equal to 0. Do you see how the 0 is not inside parentheses? The 0 is off to the right? Yeah. Okay. So this time, instead of f of x, <laughs> instead of putting a value in for x, this 0 is over here on the left-hand side. Okay. When you when you set the function function equals a number, that's what you're setting the function equal to over here on the left hand side. Okay. Okay. So now now you solve for x, and we we did this a lot over the summer. What is the first step to solve for x? Uh, the last time was the thing to solve for x. Okay, solve for x. You should negative three um, parentheses zero zero minus six, negative six. Well, how do you solve this equation? How do you undo subtraction by six? Add by six. You add six to both sides, like you just said. Okay, so now six equals three x. What's the next step? the next step okay the next step um you should um divide both of them by 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 three you should divide by three perfect so that will give you two so when you divide by three x equals two awesome yeah okay so let's look at another one here okay so let's say f of x equals uh, minus four x plus 20 okay and this time you're going to set f of x equal to zero. What what is the value that f of x is going to take on? What what is f of x equal to? F of x equal to? Yes. F of x. Okay. So for f of x, right there, you should negative four. Uh, you should um add both sides by twenty. No, no, no. I'm asking you, what do you set f of x equal to? I'm, I'm telling you over here on the right, though. Zero, zero. Zero. So zero equals minus 4x plus 20. So I want you to yeah. solve. And now you should add by both sides by 20. Well, no, you're not going to add. You're not going to add both subtract. sides. But well, why is it subtract? Because there's an addition right there. The addition That's right. Side. That's right. You undo with this. So I want you to solve this equation on your own, please. 
Okay. All right, so the total answer for that right there, that is going to be five. Okay, so minus 20 equals minus 4x, and then you divide both sides by minus 4, and like you said, x equals 5. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, you ready to do one on your own? Um, yeah, sure. Absolutely, you got this. Uh, let's go, sorry, let me change this. Sorry, this didn't come out right. All right, so go ahead and try this one on your own, please. Okay. That is 10. It is definitely 10. Fantastic. All right. So that's great. So we, you really, you really got this down. So let's go back to um, what we were doing earlier. We're going to make another table. Okay. So let's do, let's do this here. So here's, here's your table X, F of X. Let's do this. Let's go, uh, let's go to, Four, mm -hmm. four minus two, four minus, I'm sorry, six, let me get this, six minus eight. Okay, so my same question to you is what is the pattern? Okay. What is the pattern? What is the pattern? Yes. What is the pattern? What is what's going on with X and what's going on with F of X? Okay. What is going on with X? So for um so for two, four, six, um, they just add up by two and then for yeah. And for the X and for the FX, uh, they um subtract uh they um divide by no division. Up. It's either it's either adding or subtracting. Okay, up by two, and f x is down by two. Yes. Now, what are you going down by with f of x? How much are you going down each time? How much are you going down? Yes, because minus two is smaller than four, so you must be going down. How much are you going down by how to go from four to minus two? Four to minus two. You should um you should subtract you should um subtract by um six. Six. Yes, you're going down by six. Perfect. Okay, very good. Yep. All right. So these are linear. So we got linear here. All right. And um now I want you to find the slope. So the slope formula is, and you know this really well, it's y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. You have to write two ordered pairs. Okay, so the first ordered pair is two comma four. See where I'm getting that x and f of x? f of x is really y. And then the other ordered pair is four comma minus two. So I'd like for you to 
calculate the slope for me, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, so right now, um, y2, that is going to be um, 4 and negative 2, and for x2 is 2, and, and x1 is 4. Give me your final slope. My final slope? Give me the slope whenever you figured it out, yeah. Okay, so so right now, uh, four um, four minus negative two that is going to be six, and um, two minus four is negative two is six. That is going to be negative three. Yes, the slope is negative three. Perfect. Okay. Now, if we write the equation y equals m x plus b, what is the value of m? Was the value of m? Yes. Okay. Yes. What is the value of m? The value of m, that is negative three. Okay, so you rewrite the equation. You're at y equals minus three x plus b. And now we're going to go grab a data point. Uh, what are we going to grab? We're going to grab two, four. <clears throat> so I want you to use this data point, two, four, where x is two and y is four, and put that into this equation and solve for y. I'm sorry, solve for b. So you're going to put this value in, uh, of two in for x, four in for y, and I want you to solve it for b. Okay. Okay, so now for that right there. So, okay. So now for three X, you should um, uh, make, um, you should um, use the coordinates two and four. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, use the coordinates two, four, two for uh, adding. You're gonna, let's go back and look at what we did in a previous problem here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, it's lagging. So so here, here is a previous problem. We wrote y equals 3x plus b, okay? And we, we use the coordinates 3 comma 1. What did we do with the 3? Where is the 3 now? You should multiply. Okay. You put, it, you put it in for x. What about the y? You put it in for y, and then you solve for b. Okay. okay so I'm gonna, I'm gonna so scroll. I start with 4, 4. Yes. And negative 3x um, times 4 is negative 12. Mm -hmm. But what value are you putting in for x? Um, what about value you're putting in for x? Um, 2. I mean, that's right. So, oh, okay. It's not 4, though. You said 4. You got to be careful. Okay. So it's 2. Okay. So you ha do you have a pencil and paper out? You have to be writing this down. There's no way you can do this in your head. Okay, okay, okay. So for negative three, um, so for the B, you should put in the two and then you should no, multiply the X, and then X, add them. X is two. 
X mm -hmm. is two and Y is four. Yes, that's right. right. Uh -huh. Negative three times two, that is negative six. And then for four, four equals negative six plus B. And now you have the, uh, uh, um, you should divide both sides by six. No. Are you writing this down, Sarish? Yeah. You're not. No, you're not. <laughs> I can't see through your computer, but I know you're not. So. I just want to uh, try. Uh, okay, Matt, I just want to see if I can be able to review them in my mind right now. Well, that doesn't work. Well, I, I'm just sorry about that because for right now, we're, my we're notebook, gonna, I just need a little break from the notebook. That's why we're going to we're going to pause the lesson until you get your notebook out. I asked you in the beginning, you said you you had one out and you were not telling me the truth. I'm sorry about that. Well, please go get a notebook and let's try working this out. Okay. I'll wait until you come back. Okay. Okay, you got my book. Uh, we we need we need notebook. Yeah. Paper. I got my book. You have your notebook. Is that right? Yeah. Do you have a pencil? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, what I want you to do is write down what's in the box, and then put those values in for x and y, and solve for b. Okay. Okay, so for, um, so yeah, it's negative six. It's negative six. What is negative six B? Um, no, 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 for negative three, that is negative six. Well, I already, see, Sarge, I already know that. Like, I'm asking you to solve for B, solve for B. That's negative six. It is not negative six. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because, because you made, because you, you didn't have your paper out. I'm going to now make you wait three minutes to continue working on this problem. So I will check in with you at 735.
All right, Sarish, are you ready to work on this problem with me? Okay, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna put the value of four in for y and two in for x. And yes, you've been telling me that over and over again. Okay. Okay, minus three times two is minus six. You also told me that, but you didn't write any of this down. Okay. So what is the value of b? How do you get B by itself? Um, the six, negative six turning into positive six. Okay, so you're gonna add six to both sides of the equation. Yeah. So what does B equal? B equals um, 10. 10, good. Okay, we can stop here for today. No, no, we're gonna keep going. Um, so let's uh, let's look at another problem. So this, this is, um, We'll do another table here. We're going to do x and f of x. All right. And this time we're going to go uh, 1, 3, 5, <laughs> negative 7, negative 5, negative 3. What is okay. the pattern? The pattern. What is the pattern? Yeah, okay. What's going on with x and what's going on with f x? You should uh, uh, add two and then for negative seven. That is supposed to be. Um, you should um, sub. Uh, you should sub. You should, should subtract by two. Add by two. Add by two. Yeah, you're going up by two each time. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. How come you were so fast to answer that? But when I asked you to solve for the value of b, we we had to take a a long, long time to do that. Why do you think? Well, that is? it's because it's been a while. That's why I'm just trying to just uh, be able to get my. I just want to become. I just want to have some. Um, just some, like I don't know, maybe some break. All right. Well, let's find the slope for this problem here. So we've done a number of examples like this. I want you to calculate the slope, and if you can get it right in under one minute there'll be a reward. What reward? Well, you'll know when you're done, but the time at clock is ticking, you're now at 50 seconds. Okay. Aren't you gonna write the coordinates down? Nope, you have to do it. Or you can look back in your notes. Okay, okay, okay. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, so now for that right there, that's um, y two is negative five. Four. I want one. the final number. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, time is up. Time is up. Yeah. Okay. I, so I rem I so let's write the ordered pair: one comma minus seven. And based mm -hmm. on that, what's another ordered pair? Give me an ordered pair for um, five, negative five three. The order matters. Which comes first, x or f of x? Um, x. X. So what is the x value? Three. Okay. What is the y value? Um, negative five. Negative five. Good. So now you have your ordered pairs. Go ahead and calculate the slope. Okay. Calculate the slope. All right. So the slope right there. The thin. That's that equals that equals one. Okay, so what value did you use for y two? For y two, I use negative five. Okay, what about y one? Um, uh, three. No, three is uh, x two. Oh, okay, five, uh, one, one. I thought um like in, in the previous um slope, I thought it's gonna be like in the different coordinates, like for example, the second chord, but it seems like it's not, it's different, right? It's always x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. 
negative 5 minus negative 7, and x2 is 3 minus 1. Okay. Negative 5 minus negative 7. You should add them, and that's 12. Becomes negative 5 plus 7, because two negatives make a positive. So it's, it's negative 12. It's not negative 12. If you owe someone $5 and you have $7 and you give them five, how much do you have left over? Two. That's right. Over two, yeah. which is. That's one. Yes. Yeah, we can stop here for today. No, let's keep going. Ah. Yep. Well, so y equals mx plus b. The value of m is 1. So y equals x plus b. And you're going to use the ordered pair 1 comma negative 7. OK. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to solve for b and send me a picture of it. So as soon as you solve for b and send me a picture of it, the lesson can be over, if it's correct. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go up and show you how we did that in a previous problem? No, 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 no. Okay. Do you have any questions that I can answer? No, 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 I am doing it. Okay, I sent it to you. All right, I'll take a look. What is the numerical value of B? Okay, so uh, Y is minus seven. You put um, Y as one. I'm not sure why you did that. And mm -hmm. then X is one. Okay. So, so instead of adding seven to both sides, what do you subtract from both sides? What do you subtract from both sides? Yes. Um, by uh, seven. Subtract one from both sides. So negative one, eight. One, one, one. That's equals B. negative eight. All right. Is your dad available? Um, no. Um, no. Will, you check, will you check, please? Um, it's no, no. All right, well, I'll just give him a call and give him the feedback that way. Uh, probably would be better if we did it this way, Sarish. Um, what do you think okay. the feedback? Well, I'll call my dad. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, dad. Yeah. He's coming. <laughs>